Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, we're going to take a look at the person that you're linked to. I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you guys right down the middle. Now, at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. Also, I urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy that's moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So if this reading resonates with you, I'm just going to ask that you guys like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Also, guys, if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I've got those links in the description box down below as well. All right, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Aquarius. Messages, please, for my dearest Aquarius. All right, we've got the Eight of Wands. So you guys are definitely in high manifestation mode. This could be that you guys have a long distance lover um, or you guys are, you know, you guys are at a distance, could be from different countries different states or you guys have to travel to see one another. Um, but more than anything, I feel like you are or have manifested this. There's also a lot of communication between you guys. It could be, you know, like a lot of, you know, passionate communication, sexy communication. You're seeing your person as the judgment in reverse. Okay. So, uh, uh Aries or Scorpio energy. Um, so I don't know if you feel like they made a bad decision. Um, or they're stuck on a lower vibrational timeline or stuck in another connection. We'll go ahead and see. We'll dig a little deeper. And you see the connection as the king of pentacles in reverse. So there's not a lot of stability at this point in time. Some of you guys, this person may have taken a job overseas or there's something here that is keeping them away from you. And for some of you guys, for a select few of you, I'm getting this person may be incarcerated. So they're showing up as the page of pentacles in reverse. So they're not taking action. And I, I am getting a weird message, but it may be true for some of you that maybe this person can't take action, that they're either in a job or a contract overseas, or they may be incarcerated. Okay. The way they're seeing you as the page of swords. So they're seeing you as wanting a new beginning, wanting to communicate. Um, again, I'm getting that like for some reason, either because of their situation, they can't communicate with you as much as you would like them to. All right. Interesting message. And they see the relationship as a missed opportunity. I don't know if they feel like they really messed up or they're not able to see a future here. The Hierophant in reverse tells me that, yeah, this is a strong connection or commitment. And, you know, maybe this person... I just feel like they made a bad decision that led you guys to some sort of separation. Queen of Cups, it could be that there's a romantic rival here. Um, it could also be that this person... This person is just really emotional about this connection, as you are as well, Aquarius. And we see the Empress in reverse. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, there's some sort of third-party energy or that this connection just can't grow. And, and like I said, I'm getting two messages for some of you. It's like this person chose somebody else over you or, you know, you guys met and one of you was in another connection. It feels like it's this person or it's possible that they took a job overseas and they're not seeing a future or they've just been incarcerated. So they know that things can't really move forward at this time. Aries energy. Somebody here is feeling really foolish. We have some strong major arcana cards coming through, though. We have Aries, we have Aries and Scorpio, Taurus, and we also have Libra and Taurus. So some pretty fixed energies here. Interesting reading. All right, let's go ahead and see. Let's dig a little bit deeper. And you guys, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So Aquarius, it's like, I don't know if you guys are just trying to heal from this and trying to move forward and you're manifesting somebody new. You know, sometimes these readings come out this way. They show us, you know, karmic situations that we need to purge and release before we can, you know, have our happy ending or call in, you know, a, a soulmate in, in the same frequency as we are. But I feel like my aquas, like you guys are really optimistic despite what has happened or despite what's going on between you guys. Like you're still trying to manifest, you're healing. You say, you know, I get this energy, we can fix this. 
we can get through this. Love conquers all. But you're seeing, yeah, the judgment card in reverse and the knight of swords. Yeah, some of you guys, this person. Some of you guys, this person, the knight of swords. Like, I'm getting like they either had a run-in with the law. Or there's some sort of really bad decision. Or there's a decision that they made that they can't communicate with you. And you're seeing them as quite selfish. I think you're angry with them, but you're still seeing a way around it. You're still seeing a way that you can fix it. For some of you guys, I'm also getting that this person might work in security or like, you know, whether they're like a government worker or they're, you know, in the military, something along those lines, like where they took a position where they can't communicate with you for a while. Like it's not going to be for a lot of you, but you know, there's like top secret type energy. And some of you guys are like, I can't believe they made this decision. Like we won't be able to see each other for six months. We won't be able to really talk to each other for six months. You're seeing the relationship as the king of pentacles in reverse, a lack of stability, but interesting. But it's also really draining. There's, I'm getting this, like this energy. I'm feeling like in your head, and like in the 3D aquas, you guys are exhausted and you know, or you're feeling like you should give up on this connection, but it's like your heart is saying no. Interesting. So you're definitely pulled in a lot of different directions here. This is de definitely not a reading for everyone. They're coming out as the page of pentacles. So not communicating, not talking, ace of wands. They still have a lot of passion for you. Whatever happened, spirit, between you and this person, spirit wants you to know that this was divine intervention. It was meant to happen this way. All right. They're seeing you as the page of swords and the seven of wands. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, Aqua. Like, you still want to fight for this despite whatever has happened. And no good reader is going to recommend that you, you know, fight for a connection where somebody was a narcissist or they were abusive or they were a liar or a cheater or they put you in a really bad situation. But for a lot of my Aquas out there, I feel like this is complicated. Like, this is somebody who either they got arrested, they made a, they made a, they made a mistake, um, or they took a job that they that's overseas or they can't talk with you. But it's like they see you as like still wanting to communicate, still wanting to fight for this. They see you as the best of the best because it's like I'm almost getting that even though you do feel like giving up on this connection, I still feel the sense of loyalty that you have to this person, Aquarius. All right, and we see the Three of Swords. Oh, sorry, the Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups. But this person, there's a lot of conflict in this relationship. And I'm just getting, for a lot of you guys, this person made a decision that was best for them. Or they were thinking only about themselves when they made whatever decision this was. Whether it got them thrown in jail or whether it was to take a position where they had to be away from you or they wouldn't be able to talk to you or they wouldn't be able to see you. It's really interesting energy here, Aquarius, and I know it's not going to resonate with all of you, so go ahead and check your, <laughs> your, your rising, your moon, your Venus signs. Hierophant in reverse, clarified by the Hierophant in reverse. Taurus energy. This is separation, divorce, breakup. And again, some of my Aquarius with this King of Pentacles and the Strength card in reverse, it's going to, you're going to come to an, a conclusion or a realization that you do have to move on, that you do have to manifest someone or something new. But it's like this person knows that you definitely didn't give up on them or the connection easily. Wow, it's it, this is heavy, Aqua. This really is. All right, so the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Discs. This is about making healthy decisions. For some of you, this person... You may have known that they were involved with somebody else or you found out that they were married to somebody else or they've been promising to get a divorce. Um, the nine of discs, this is Venus and Virgo energy. And it's so important, Aqua, that you put yourself first in this connection. I think you have fought for this connection. They see you as loyal. They see you as heart. They see you as... They see you as somebody who's going to fight for them and fight for this connection no matter what. But it comes to a point where you do have to think about yourself, okay? And with the Empress in reverse, clarified by the Four of Wands, wow, is that some of you guys, the Two of Cups, I see a breakup here. 
Some of you guys, this person did sabotage this soulmate connection because they weren't quite ready. And I feel like a lot of you, you're feeling foolish because you did or have fought for this connection for so long. But you see this person as your soulmate or your twin flame. But I just, with this Empress in reverse, there's something that came in between you guys and it's a decision this person made. And it was a decision this person made where they were thinking more about themselves rather than you guys as a, as a couple, a connection, or you, Aquarius. And the Four of Wands here is like telling me there's possible, it's, there's a possibility. Let's get more, I'm going to get more, I need more information because I'm picking up on a lot of different reasons and a lot of different third party interference. Again, some of them, it's a bad decision they made. Some of them, it's a work decision. And for others, it's some sort of third party romantic rival. Let's go ahead and see. Love yourself first. Yeah, Aqua. For some of you, spirit is really coming through very strong to say, you know what, you fought for this and the timing isn't right or this connection just isn't right for you. I'm not ready. Yeah, some of my aquas, you're not ready to give this person up. You're not ready to give up on this person or this connection. Third party. Yep, I'm telling you, I can't make this stuff up, but let's see. I don't know what that third party is. We are one. And someone new. Wow. Okay, Aqua, so uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of different messages here. For some of you, despite the third party, they're still seeing you guys as one. So if that third party is that they're incarcerated or they had to take a job, something top secret, where they can't communicate, they can't be with you, they want you to know that regardless, you guys are still connected, okay? Where this is, where this is a third party romantic rival, what I'm seeing here, if that's the case, if they chose somebody new over you, if this person was promising to get a divorce and they never did, or they were promising to leave somebody and they never did, they are sabotaging a soulmate connection, but spirit's telling you to love your first, love yourself first. There's somebody new, somebody that more aligned with you that's going to come in and offer you the safety, security, and stability. Regardless, you don't need to feel foolish. This was a very intense soul contract, and we have the fool in the upright. Okay, and there's a new beginning for you, but you do need to pause and you need to think about what is best for you. Love yourself first, and the nine of pentacles right there in the middle. It's about really putting yourself first, Aquarius, because I feel like you haven't been doing that throughout this situation. Let's get more information. This is complicated. I, it, it's kind of giving me knots in my stomach. Like it makes me, because it's complicated. It's like the love that you guys have or you love this person. But I don't know if they just made a bad choice. Oh, it's, it's like part of me is like heartbroken if they got taken away from you. But for some of you, if they if they chose somebody else over you, it is time to really let go. Okay, time apart. So yeah, you guys, they're, you're facing, they're facing some time apart from you. But you already know the answer you seek. Trust your intuition. This one wanted to come out. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Absolutely. And boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. Self-care. So it's coming out again. Aqua. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Love yourself first. There's something that's disconcerting about this connection. Whatever you're, whatever it is that's pulling you guys apart or whatever broke you guys up. Spirit saying this was necessary. You need to trust your intuition. I'm going to, I'm. It's what I've got for you. It's it's like I've, I'm getting knots in my stomach, Aquarius. Like I feel anxious. I feel nauseous because this feels like so unfair is what it feels like. It's like you do not want to give up on this person. You do not want to give up on this connection. You do not want to let them go. You fought for this. You wanted to fight for it. But there's something here. Either they acted foolishly or you're starting to feel foolish for holding on for so long. Yeah, look at that. And I was getting that from this Four of Wands. Some of you guys, you do, you just feel like love conquers all. Or, you know, this, whatever they have to go and do, it may feel longer than you want, but it might be something like, you know, I can wait that long. Oof, I don't know. It's, it's a really, it's a weird reading for me, Aqua. 
honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This person's conflicted because they're also, I think they're, they feel like you should give up or whatever they've done. Like, I, I just feel like they, they feel like they've messed up so bad that they're like not worthy of you. That's what I keep getting. Like, it's just, it's such a weird reading, you guys. And a past life relationship. You've known each other before and make the effort. This is your energy. That's the energy I'm getting from you guys. Even though you feel like giving up and like outward appearances, 3D appearances, or you might be getting advice or, you know, it looks like, you know, you should give up on this connection. There's a part of you, Aqua, that doesn't want to. There's a very strong bond and connection. There may be communication that leads to reconciliation, but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be an easy road ahead. That's what I'm getting. You know, and love doesn't, isn't always easy, but you are being told Aqua, it's so important that you take care of yourself. Self-love and self-care are going to be the most important things. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, so I think you're in the process, like, you do need to see things clearly. Because, again, I feel like you have a war between head and heart here. And I think your person does, too. But I think there's such strong feelings here. You guys can work it out and figure out what it is you're going to do. That's what I feel like. That will give you some sort of closure or it will give you, like, a plan on how to move forward. So when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your heart and the memories you have shared with those you love. So Aqua, what I'm seeing here is that like you're you're not focused on what other people think. You realize that outward appearances may be misleading. I just it's it's such an interesting energy. It's such like a ride or die energy that I'm getting from my Aquarius and that you realize that the connection is more important than maybe what they've done, depending on what they've done, right? Because again, like I said, no reader is going to say if this person was abusive or this person was cheating on you or this person chose somebody else over you to like stay, you know, to be ride or die. Absolutely not. But for a lot of you, it's something different. It's like this connection can't grow because of like I've been mentioning. And you've got, you've got a heavy decision to make. You've got a lot to work out here. So give yourself time and when these sort of, when there's clarity, you're going to know whether or not you guys can get back together or not. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love and light. Take care.